I think a lot of people are happy with how the weather has turned out on this uh, Monday afternoon. Aww. Yeah, the Ducks have certainly enjoyed it. This is uh, some video that we shot earlier today in Broad Ripple. Picture blue sky, uh -huh. just beautiful down there. Aww. And today getting the dog out, I would imagine Rosie probably enjoyed her walk today, right? She did. We walked uh, four miles. Nice. Yes. Yeah, it's a it day was, to do it. I it mean, was. getting outside is what we need to do, right? Because it's sunny. It's not hot. Yeah. It's not humid. It's It we really it. is pretty perfect. Yeah. But we've got sunny in 70s the next several days. Beautiful. Yes, and we get close to 80, so I'll have that for you in the seven day. We're going to start with a beautiful view over downtown Indianapolis where we currently have some sunshine. A few mid to high level clouds floating through from time to time. We're at 70 degrees with a northwest wind at 6. 70 is our new high for the day after dropping to 42 this morning. 42 pretty close to where we should be for this time of year. Sunset happens at 818 and we will be back into the low 40s out the door tomorrow morning. So if you're like me, maybe a jacket for the first couple of hours of tomorrow morning. We'll be at 42 in Kokomo and in Indianapolis, 42 in Shelbyville and Bloomington and right at 40 out the door in Richmond. From there, we've got lots of sunshine in that Tuesday forecast. 67 degrees midday and then we'll spend all afternoon in the low to mid 70s with eventual highs in the mid 70s. Head to Victory Field. The Indians start a homestand, a long one that will last all week into the weekend. Kicks off tomorrow evening. That first pitch, I believe, is at 6.05 tomorrow evening. And temperatures will be in the low 70s to start and still in the 60s as we wrap up uh, the first game of that long homestand tomorrow evening. We're back into the 70s for highs on Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday with plenty of sunshine, 75 to near 80 degrees. If we don't get 80 on Wednesday, we will on Thursday. No rain chance between now and Thursday. Those rain chances do return for Friday and the upcoming weekend, so we'll give you a look ahead with Future Track 13, confirming the dry conditions that we have in place and in the forecast for Wednesday into Thursday. That's Thursday at 8 a.m. I'm going to start stop it early Friday, Friday at 8 a.m. A good part of Friday at this point looks to be dry. Can't rule out an afternoon shower or thunderstorm with better rain chances arriving as we head into the start of the weekend. This is Saturday at 8 a.m. Scattered showers, maybe a couple of thunderstorms. We may also get some dry breaks this weekend, so stick with us this week. We'll fine tune the timeline, help you make those outdoor plans, but do plan for a temperature drop. We've got that coming toward the end of the weekend and the early part of next week, so definitely enjoy the warmth. We've got it over the next several days. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. After that cool start, we're at 76. We near 80 on Wednesday, calling for a high warmest day Thursday at 80 degrees. Even with more clouds and that rain chance returning Friday into Saturday, temperatures will still be in the mid 70s. Here's where things change. Early part of, uh, well, the end of the weekend and the early part of next week, we're going to drop back into the 40s and 50s for highs with perhaps some lingering showers that may mix with a few flakes of snow. Can't rule it out. Or can't rule it out early next week, but we will keep you posted. Enjoy the next several days. Uh, Angela, I'll rule it out.